Galveston is the biggest little city you've ever been in or the smallest big city you've ever been in. Uh, we are historically known for our tourism and our beaches. Uh, we're known for our historic uh, properties and preservation. Uh, we're also known for our port. Through the years, our, our water system has had to grow from its original small footprint, which was just right behind the seawall. Now we're 32 miles long. Water is becoming quite a precious commodity. And uh, here in Galveston, we don't have a water source on the island. Uh, we get all of our water piped to us from the mainland. And so we have to be very efficient with the use of our water and make sure that we control that use as much as we can. Galveston is unique in many aspects because we are a barrier island. So by nature, we're designed to protect the mainland from storms. During winter storm Uri a couple years ago, we saw death by a thousand cuts to our system. And there was so much property damage to people's homes that were not in town at the time. And they had pipes that had frozen and leaked everywhere throughout their home. Our system was bleeding out. We could not get enough water onto the island as fast as it was pumping out through all the broken pipes in the houses and underneath the houses. So we were sending out firefighters, police officers, public works guys, sanitation guys, anybody that could work a wrench to try to cut water off to these homes. When we heard about the opportunity of having Badger meter systems here in the city, it was very important to us and we were very excited about that because it gave us the ability to have a more efficient use of our water and to control that water and to give the uh, citizens here the ability to actually monitor their water uses. We really needed a way to be able to remotely control a lot of our water system, shutting off individual meters, because basically during the winter storm, our homes aren't equipped for sub 20 degree temperatures for long periods of time. City of Galveston chose the Badger Meter E-Series Plus that have flow restriction valves. The main reason for going with Badger Meters E-Series was not only our ability to shut down our residential meters in the case of a weather event slash crisis and um, reserve water and not have to suffer through a catastrophic water loss, but also because of the beacon platform, it gave us the ability to really be more proactive in our approach and finding issues um, within our system. Say I have an issue in a specific area that is showing consistent reverse flow. I'm able to go in there, set the area with the events, um, schedule the times that I'm looking for, schedule the amount of backflow that's unacceptable. So it'll send us an email and say, hey, you have a situation over here. You've had more than you know, five gallons of backflow within the last 30 minutes. We might want to go put our eyes on it. We are able to monitor what houses have residential leaks and we can restrict flow to those residences from the office instead of rolling a truck. So the response time is much quicker and it saves property damage on the customer side as well. We get tamper alerts, which means that it's alerting us that there is an issue with this meter. As you know, with the drive-by system, it could be 30 days since that issue happened. With Beacon, you get a read every four hours. It could have been two minutes ago. Beacon is just a informational highway for anything that you do within your water system. Part of the advancements in technology and the reason why we went with Badger Meter was because of the Ion Water app that allows customers to see their water usage at any time. They get to see uh, a lot more detailed information and they get to make more informed decisions about their water usage. This is especially helpful to residents who don't live here full time and they could be gone for a month and the toilet could be running and nobody would be the wiser. Very simple to use. It's easy to have multiple accounts on it. I monitor our home, I monitor my mother-in-law's house, I monitor my parents' house as they get up in age, just in case. It's very important for our residents to feel connected to their water, not only from a uh, preservation standpoint and a conservation standpoint, because water is becoming very precious. With the Ion Water app, it gives them a sense of control that they can actually monitor and possibly do something to help conserve water and be more efficient with the use of water. 
Galveston started with just the meter project and it really transformed into this Blue Edge program to incorporate water quality monitoring as well as pressure monitoring throughout our system. So before we only relied on our SCADA operation system where we had eyes solely at our pump stations and our elevated storage tanks. And now we have 15 plus pressure monitor systems scattered throughout our island. We use the pipe minders which give us pressure data, um, which we can also see through beacon to see pressures between sites where we have no monitoring uh, of the pressure in those areas. These have been great. It's, it's the eyes and ears of our system outside of our own internal SCADA system. We also use the Metronet bollards to see water quality data. The Metronet bollards can be customized to show whatever water quality parameters that you wanted to see for your system. Here at the airport wastewater treatment plant, uh, we run an activated sludge plant. The effluent wastewater is very important uh, to our plant process. And in order to make sure that we're putting out the best effluent that we can, we take parameters like TSS, BOD, COD, and chlorine. Uh, we've also added conductivity and salinity to our effluent wastewater because most of our processes here on the island uh, don't do well with salt. All of the sensors that we have in all of our basins here at the wastewater treatment plant all feed that data into a concube, HMI. Uh, that HMI then feeds that data over to Beacon where I can view the data online and see things like trends uh, of that data and I can key into parts of the process that may be going well or um, we might have to change a process here or there in order to make sure that our effluent water is as good as it can be. Having continuous monitoring here at the plant helps us to see things that we normally wouldn't by depending on a two hour grab sample. I have loved all of the data that we have been able to receive from all of the water quality devices and the pressure monitoring devices. Looking at the system as a whole, I'm able to have a much better understanding on what our customers are seeing versus only with our SCADA. It gives us a sense of confidence with our system and we're much more proactive on operating our system overall, which just gives peace of mind throughout any sort of event that we might experience. Next for Galveston, we are gonna continue installing water quality devices throughout our system. We are also expanding to the wastewater side, installing devices at some of our wastewater treatment plants, as well as our sanitary lift stations. The city of Galveston has been working really hard to stay on the proactive side and provide the best quality of service that we can to our customers and all of this technology is instrumental in that. And it allows us to be more proactive on maintaining system pressure, water quality, equipment, operators utilizing our, our team to improve customer service and provide a better quality of service to all of our residents.